So unfortunately, uh, Microsoft is letting go of 1,900 people. You guys can see this here. Microsoft cuts 1,900 jobs in gaming, uh, including at Activision. And uh, it's not just Microsoft, it's also eBay. Uh, they're cutting 1,000 jobs and then the Business Insider is cutting 8% of their staff. Um, I wanna go through um, what's going on here and uh, share my thoughts and gears as well. Uh, thanks for coming back. So read the headline here. Microsoft cuts 900 jobs in gaming, including at Activision. If you remember, um, Activision bought Blizzard and then um, and Blizzard uh, makes popular games and then uh, Microsoft bought Activision. So uh, that's why Blizzard is mentioned here. Um, Moreover, it says uh, in an email to in an email to staff review by Bloomberg, Microsoft Gaming Chief Phil Spector wrote that the cuts represent about eight percent of Microsoft's twenty-two thousand gaming workers. The quote is: "Together, we've set priorities, identified areas of overlap, and ensured that we're all aligned on the best opportunities for growth." Uh, moreover, let's see what eBay has to say. Uh, they're cutting a thousand jobs, reduce contractors to sharpen focus. Quote is. While we are making progress against our strategy, our overall headcount and expenses have outpaced the growth of our business. To address this, we're implementing organizational changes that align and consolidate certain teams to improve end-to-end -end experience and better meet the needs of customers around the world. And then uh, this is a Business Insider, right? They're cutting 8% of the staff as part of restructuring. And um, it says here, Business Insider is laying off 8% of its staff amid broader restructuring the latest news organization to cut employees during a particularly turbulent stretch for the media industry. Um, quote, we have already begun to refocus teams and invest in areas that drive uh, outsized value for our core audience. Unfortunately, this means we need to scale back in some of our organizations. And I understand that the headlines today will be, you know, US GDP grew 3.3%. Everything's great. We're all going to do wonderful, and it's a soft landing. Um, I, I always emphasize this, right? Regardless of what national numbers say or unemployment numbers, etc., um, it all depends on what's happening in your neck of the woods, right? And um, if you're one of these staff that are, are getting cut, it's tough because uh, you may be an in industry. So here it's like gaming news. I guess eBay, you could say it's uh, e-commerce. Um, there's a slowdown, and where are you going to go? Um, for a lot of these uh, kind of workers I've mentioned before, and we talked about this with the um, bank cuts, right? So you remember like say uh, if uh, Wells Fargo is cutting their mortgage division because the area of home sales is, is down, like where are those people going to go? Um, I mean, retail is hiring. I'm just, I'm telling you, like, like there's, and, and it's, it's not like that there's no job for these people. It's just that the job that they really want is not going to be there. Right. It, it's, you know, do you want to go from Goldman Sachs and, and say working at McDonald's, that kind of thing, or, or driving Uber or DoorDash or, or whatever. And so, you know, take this stuff seriously when I when, when we go through these things. And, um, you know, the one of the things I, I was I was looking at as well. And uh, for those of you who are in the um, uh, tri-state area, so, uh, you know, like if you live in New Jersey or Philly or, or the city or, you know, New York, um, you probably would notice this. But uh, I guess that they're talking about raising your. Uh, train fares by like 15%, which is pretty significant, um, especially if you're like an hourly worker who has to commute, uh, you know, every day into the city. They were saying like, uh, depending on how much you go in um, and how far you are, like, so they, they, they use the example of uh, going from Montclair into the city and it was like an extra $30 a month. Now, it may not seem like, you know, a lot to, if you're, you know, uh, have a decent salary, but for an hourly worker, that that that's, that kind of cost that starts to add up, right? 15% is, is significant. Um, the thing is, is that it's it's interesting because sometimes you know we're celebrating that oh yes the Fed's gonna the cut rates and everything's gonna be hunky dory and we'll go back to the uh, you know money printing again. <laughs> um, I, I always laugh about that kind of stuff because um, it, it it's it's not like it, it's gonna work that way, right? Um, there's good cuts and bad cuts that we talked about before. So um, if if indeed you get inflation under control, and if indeed the economy is is still growing at a at a healthy pace. Uh, sure, you know, maybe maybe you'll cut. But the thing is, at, at the moment, um, you got to make sure that, OK, if we cut too soon, uh, is that going to mean that inflation is going to go out of control uh, or moreover, there's the bad cuts. If like suddenly um, you, you know, uh, are keeping interest rates way too high and, and you're slowing growth. So like no one can hire. Right. These kind of things, because, you know, when you look at this stuff here, the, the, essentially the companies are telling you 
you know, the staff that we have on hand and the projections that were coming uh, down the pipeline or just the business that we see right now is, is it does is, is not aligning, right? The people that we have, we're paying too much for the money that's coming in. Um, you don't want necessarily want an environment like that. Uh, essentially, what, what they're trying to do is just get a <laughs> get a healthy system, right? Uh, you, you want that the economy is growing at a healthy pace. You want that people can afford to have a life. Um, you know, all of these things like interact with each other. And, and the thing that is, is worrying about this stuff is, and this is just my opinion on these things, is um, I, I think, and as, as we see the, you know, rise of AI and sort of like coming out of the, I guess you can say the um, punch bowl, the money, bowl, the money printing, uh, these kind of things is, is like, we're kind of realigning um, expectations uh, for our life. Um, I, I, you know, I see a lot of reports every day, guys. I read everything. And, and also too, um, a lot of people in, in comments uh, always, have a lot to share because we have people from all around the world that watch it, watch this channel. Um, but the big one, you know, for me that that's been the kind of the the underlying headline for many of these uh, things that we see is where uh, young people say coming out of college right now are having a tough time finding a job and the stuff that they really want, like the high paying jobs. Uh, they're not quite there anymore. Uh, or we'll see like for young people, home ownership uh, is is tough right now. Like for first time buyers, they have to delay it, and the age of the first time buyer keeps going up. Or another example is, uh, you know, people who are looking to retire, they may have to uh, keep working a little bit longer. Like, like the sort of like our expectations of quality of life um, seem to be going down. Now, obviously, it depends on what neck of the woods that you're at. We talked about earlier, I think it was like a couple weeks ago, where there's this island in Florida where all the billionaires live, like Amazon, uh, Jeff Bezos is there, and, you know, uh, there was like another gentleman that he owns an airline and <laughs> like, like those kind of people, like they're going to be fine. Like they're they're going to be fine. Um, or like your Elon Musk, eventually he'll sell all the stock and sail off into the sunset, et cetera, that kind of stuff. Um, and, and the thing that, that I, I was watching and, and like I, I know I'm kind of talking about lots of different things at the same time, but if you watch the channel, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, you know, I just saw the documentary recently about the Bitcoin and it was interesting that the first part of the documentary, that the, it's basically criminal. And if you don't know, it's about um, Centra. And uh, the, the guy in the, the first scene of the, the documentary, he's like, in today's America, the only way to get ahead is like cheat the system. That's essentially what, what, what he was saying there. And it's like, that's why I became a criminal. <laughs> um, and, and I laugh because I, I yes, I, I understand that. I, I completely do. Um, and this is sort of why we, we have this sort of system that we have in place in terms of social media and things like that to where, you know, all these people are coming up with these, uh, you know, uh, do this side hustle, do this side hustle, do this side hustle, do this side hustle. And that feels like for many people, the only way to get ahead or gamble on crypto, et cetera. Um, you know, I, I, I understand that, that it's a struggle for many people out there. Um, and, you know, my best advice for these kind of things when I, when I show you guys this stuff news, because you're like, Chris, why, why do I care about Microsoft job cuts? It doesn't affect me, et cetera. Is I, I want you to understand that the good times doesn't, doesn't necessarily last forever. And essentially what you want to be doing, like, hey, when you have excess of, of wealth coming in, because sometimes you're going to have good years, right? Um, at, at your job, you'll get some sort of bonuses or whatever, you know, some years, right? And things are going to be going great. It, is Don't necessarily say, hey, I got all this extra money. Therefore, I'm going to do the lifestyle creep where I'm going to start spending yet more money and, and you know, sort of I'm going to get that new car now and I'm going to get an even bigger house. And, and the reason why I put it in, in these terms is that if you were happy with less before, getting more just means like you can buy your freedom much earlier, right? You can like literally pay off everything. And, and instead of like, hey, I'm going to go in more debt and I'm going to get that cyber truck, think about, wow, I could actually secure my future and uh, secure my retirement and, and think about the, the, you know, saving for a rainy day, these kind of things, investing on things. And um, I hope you guys understand my, my point of view on this stuff is, is, is I, I, uh, try to show you these things like the Microsoft was it Microsoft eBay and, and business cider. These are, you know, uh, they're cutting signif significantly, right? These are, these are real jobs of, of real people. And moreover, I, I just don't see costs of things going, going down. So um, yes, the, the GDP may, may be growing, but I, I think there's going to again, be a realignment of expectations of, of quality of life. That's sort of what I see. Um, moreover, you know, is the fed going to cut, not going to cut, uh, if I had to guess, I, I think they, they should just hold um, because if if if, they, if it, the GDP is indeed still growing a bit and inflation is under control, just hold. You don't need to do anything, right? That's what that's what the European Central Bank announced here. It says you, you, ECB holds rates and signal cuts are still way off, right? So anyway, I just wanted to share some thoughts on this stuff. And um, 
if any of you are at these companies, please please let me know. Or if you live in the Jersey area, I'd like to hear you know your thoughts on the on the train uh, fare raises. I think that's a uh, key. And, and there's a lot of things going out there expensive. I mean, um, there was uh, uh, keep seeing reports of like fast food and McDonald's. These kind of things keep going up in price because they have to pay their workers more, etc. Like it's all it's all related. Uh, we're all connected to each other, and um, just uh, appreciate you guys coming back here every day and, and having chats about the economy and the markets and jobs and these kind of things. So thanks again for your time, everyone, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.